Yes, you are overlooking something. And it is that I am Miles Edgeworth. And I ain't got time for your crap. And this one, Karma. Would it be so kind as to take another look at the autopsy report? The, the autopsy report? The victim did fall from a height of 10 feet. However, this fall was after she was killed. Yes, she got stabbed. And then she went all pump. Ah! That's right. It says after death, right here. The scene the witness claims to have seen is contradictory. The defendant stabbed and killed the victim there in the courtyard. How did the victim then go on to take a 10 foot fall? Ah! Order! Order! Marvelous! In the end, it'll be Franny who is gonna go all dump. Behold the magic of Mao's motherfucking Edgeworth! The victim was killed and then fell. If that is the case, then the victim must have been killed in her room. Don't you agree? That is the logical conclusion. Yes, that's right. The victim must have been stabbed by the defendant in her own room. And she was then thrown out of her window, down into the courtyard below. Hmm... Objection! Were there any signs of struggle in Miss Dolnim's room? Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, if the stabbing happened in a room, then clearly there would be some evidence to help us determining, like, how she got stabbed. Was there a struggle? Or did she get stabbed by somebody while they were hiding? That is a very important question to ask. She was stabbed with a sword. That would leave a bloodstain, wouldn't you agree? Well, Ms. Von Karma, was there any blood? No traces of lead were found in the victim's room. Really? No traces of blood, you say? Hmm, is it that the room was never the scene of the crime to begin with? Or did the blood magically disappear? Your whip has just caused traces of the blood to be found on my glorious play of beard. Oh, that glorious beard. However, if there was no blood in the room, then you're claiming that- Ah! Stop it already! I'm sure there is no need for me to go over this. As I'm sure your honor is well aware of when a stabbing wound produces the most blood. But when it produces the most blood? Very little blood is actually lost at the moment of blade's insertion. If you want to talk about when the most blood would be lost from a body, that would be when the blade is removed. So you're saying that just because the blade was never removed, there won't be any blood in her room whatsoever. And it would make sense that the only blood there is, is in the courtyard? Is that what you're trying to say? Well, that is some magical duty. Even when a body gets stabbed, it drops blood. Even the smallest of quantity, like some splat, like some splash. Maybe not much, but there has to be some, like, like a drop of it. Granted, I'm, I'm not a blood spatter analyst. I am a mage. Indeed, with the weapon still in place, it acts like a lid on the wound. That's true. With the weapon still on the body, there wouldn't be much bleeding. There wouldn't be much bleeding, but there would still be something in her room. A perfectly reasonable line of thinking. We have come to a conclusion then. The victim was thrown out of the window, with the sword still in place. This removes all the contradictions. Order! 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 I must admit that this is a probable version of events. Eh, I guess so. I'd expect no less from Francisco Volcarmo. She locates and takes control of every vital point. Hmm. It aims. And we need a clearer testimony from the witness. Remove all supposition on your part and tell us only the facts, please. Witness, please! Remain standing on the crate! Don't go selling me short now. 
the way the winter snow has bent me out of shape. Especially my back and my mood. Sister, please, give us your testimony. I will give you a vigorous massage once you're finished here. With a whip? Oh yes, the good old Franny massage treatment. In a room with massage table and some calm music to boot. Only instead of calm music, she likes to put, where there's a whip, there's a way. Oh boy. Alright, alright. Alright, further details. When I looked across the scene, the sword was already in place. Thinking about it now, I didn't actually see her stab Mystic Elise. Hmm. I've never seen so much blood before. That's when I fainted. And you cannot blame me, can you? And when I awoke, Mystic Honey was... Stabbing Mr. Lee's for the back. Hmm. It's all confirmed with Volkarma's theory. Von Karma strive for nothing but perfection. Putting together such facts is nothing for me. You should know that, Maz Edgeworth. Perfection is impossibility, Francisco Volkarma. I'm here to teach you just that. Alright, well, let's see. When I looked across the scene, the sword was already in place. Hold it! And that time was the victim bleeding. Well, I was very shocked to be seeing all this, of course. So I'm not entirely sure. But I don't think I saw any blood. Not then. Eh? But didn't you say in the... In some of the other statements that you did see? I'm sure that you didn't. The weapon was acting as a plug in the wound. In any case, now let's be clear on one very important point. Did you actually see the instant in which the victim was stabbed? Yeah, actually, let me just see something over here. Yeah, you said that you had never seen so much blood before. I wonder about that. Think carefully. This is very important. It's ass we're talking about here. I'm thinking for I'm worth. No. When I looked over, the sword was already in Mystic Elise's body. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's not stabbing. Maybe it's the opposite way around in that case. I don't be conclusive, but this testimony supports her theory. The victim was stabbed in her room and then dropped into a courtyard. I think this proves it rather well, Miles Edgeworth. I've never seen so much blood before. Hold it! So you're saying that you saw the victim's blood? That's right. Some of it has fluttered onto Iris, too. When the defendant was arrested, she was meditating in her room. And her blood feckled clothing was neatly folded in the corner. What? F what? Her clothes were blood fleckled as well. I mean, of course. I mean, uh, just as I said before, didn't you, Madame Bikini, say that he didn't see the blood? I mean, come on. Hmm. That seems quite conclusive to me. To pass this point further. Yeah, definitely. Going back to your previous statement, you said that you saw a little bleeding when the victim was stabbed. But now, you say you saw the victim bleeding? Well, well. I say that what I saw is what I saw. What did you see? Maybe I didn't see the poor woman get stabbed. But I saw the girl pull the sword out of her, plain as day. Aha! Uh -huh. That could be it! The opposite of stabbing! Hooray! Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, how is it even possible? I mean, I can imagine the stabbing, but the pulling? Pulling the sword out? Well, it wasn't exactly pulling, it was more like it came out. 
with us. You add this statement to your testimony. Oh, was that important? More important than you can imagine. Hmm. I saw the instant in which the blade, plunged into the hilt, was smoothly drawn out. Hold it! Smoothly, you say? You're saying you saw the sword smoothly slide out? That's right. The whole thing happened right next to the gold statue of Mystic Ami. Mystic Elise was on the ground, and Iris, and Iris was stooped over her. The sword was buried up to the hilt. When Iris stood up, the sword in her hand just slid out of Mystic Elise's body. It slid out from that gaping wound. Ah! It goes without saying that if the sword was removed, there would be bleeding. That if the sword was removed, there will be bleeding. Nothing out of place here. Is that really the case? I cannot help but feel that something about this testimony is very out of place. And that's something which couldn't possibly have happened. It appears to have happened. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Being caused by the killer removing the sword. No mistaking it. I remember it all. Clear as day. Don't you think that's a bit odd? What do you mean, Miles Edgeworth? Why would the killer pull out the sword? Yeah. Unless they. Unless they wanted to get rid of it so that nobody would suspect the iris, but. No. Her fingerprint was still on the sword. What would have been the reason to pull the sword if not to hide it? I mean, she didn't even do that. We found the sword all bloody at the scene of the crime. If she wanted, if she were to pull that out for some reason, it would be to hide the weapon. But no, it was there, so... I don't see any reason to pull it in the first place. What? If all she wanted to do was place the weapon in the land of the gold, in the hand of the golden statue, then there was no reason to remove it from the body. Hmm. All that would have accomplished is causing the victim to bleed unnecessarily. Your faults, Miss Mokarma. That's. Indeed. It is strange now that I mention it. I'm going to need to find an answer to this mystery, too. Anyway, the witness saw something terrible. So, what did you do after that, witness? That's when I fainted. You cannot blame me, can you? Mm. Now, on to what the cure did next. You saw none of it, correct? Well, I was unconscious. How long were you out for? I don't know, 10, maybe 20 minutes? A young man with a very prickly looking head woke me up. By stepping on me, actually. Hmm. I'm not sure I like that method of resuscitation. Now, I wasn't asking for a mouth to mouth, or anything of the sort. But I would have welcomed a more gentle awakening right about then, let me tell ya. I shall have words with the offender person gonna cut his salary as well. And slap an updated autopsy report on his face. What did he see upon awakening? And when I awoke, Mystic Ami was stabbing Mr. Lee's for the back. Hold it! By Mystic Ami, you are referring to the Golden Statue, correct? And just stabbing someone with a Shichishito, a sacred treasure, is terrible enough. But to then make Mystic Ami hold the blade, Surely, a highness despicable crime. It is easy to despise something. Anyone can do it. However, there is something that cannot be done so easily. Whatever it is, I'm sure it's doubly hard for you. Anyway, what is the problem? Exactly, why would a killer set up this gruesome scene? Can anyone explain the reasoning behind that? Hmm... No, I don't think I can. 
since there isn't always a logical reason behind why someone acts. Oh, that's right. Maybe it isn't logic. Because magically, the statue of Ami Fei woke up and stop, 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 stop. That's true. So true. In the early spring, for example, I often find myself... There isn't always. That phrase might come in handy someday. There are too many natural elements in this case. Why was it necessary to use the Shichishito from the Ami statue as a weapon? Why was the weapon ultimately placed back in the hand of the statue? If I can expose the flaws in this test, perhaps then I will begin to find the truth. Hmm. Alright, well. Since we discussed about the sword before, one could say that clearly one can stab the victim with a sword. Like, maybe if the killer used it as a, as a spear running towards the victim or something, but pulling it out surely would be harder. In my eyes, you would need a considerable amount of strength in that case. Especially since, well, it has branches too. And Iris is a very, very fragile girl, so one could say that this is the contradiction. But nah, that's just silly. We are thinking of this the wrong way. The actual murder weapon was the staff. You can easily stop, 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 stop someone with it. And it comes out really easy, no matter who does it. So, yep, yeah, this is it. Objection! That statement contradicts the data provided by this piece of evidence. It does? How do you mean? Uh... Stab, stab, stab? Forgive me, Yomi, but you just said it yourself that it does. D don't try to play mind games with me. Oh, No stab, stab, stab? Curses. Alright, alright, huh? Let's, uh, let's go with the Shichishito in this case. Sister Bikini, you are a reliable witness. At least, I like to think so. But there are too many contradictions here. What do you mean? You make it sound as though I'm a liar. But you are a handsome young man, so I'll forgive you. What contradictions are you talking about? In a scene that the witness claims to have seen. And the weapon was thrust up to its hilt onto the victim. Furthermore, the killer withdrew the weapon smoothly from the body. However, both of these are complete impossibilities. What do you mean? Please, explain Explain yourself! To start with, do you think it would be possible to step so to the hilt with this? No matter how I look at the defender, she doesn't appear strong enough for that. Doesn't appear? That meaningless dribble. I too may appear to be weak and frail. But I can crush men under my heel and make them weep, should I choose so. The objection stands. Yeah, I mean she can do it alright. But that is because she had done it so many times throughout her life. She trained her muscles. I looked a little back though, I must admit. Objection! That isn't the only wish. That isn't the only issue here. If this sword was truly stabbed into the body up to the hilt, well, just look at all the branches on it. It certainly wouldn't come out so smoothly. That's. You also have the problem with the amount of bleeding. It's true that when a blade is left in the body, it acts as a plug of sorts. However, when a weapon is shaped like this, it's an entirely different story. No, oh, I need to mention it, yeah. If we are talking about a different sword, maybe it is possible, but with this one, the branches create extra cuts. And even if the whole And even if the hole made by the body of the sword is there, the cuts made by the branches would still be open. The wound would be too large for the blade to completely stop the bleeding. That's nothing more than conjecture. Oh, 
that's lots better analysis there. It's definitely not conjecture. And it's certainly not conjunctivitis. Maybe it's conjuring. In reality, the victim was stabbed with the Shichishito. Even with this nature, may still sometimes slid out smoothly, and may still sometimes stop the blood loss. Objection! I'm not finished. There is still one more conclusive contradiction. There is? Y you still got more? This one is simple. If this sword really was thrusting all the way to the hilt, why is there only blood on the tip of it? Yeah, that's a very good point. It only has blood on the first two branches. What about the rest of the branches? I mean, the rest of the branches felt lonely without the blood. Ah! If this witness is telling the truth, then there should be blood along the entire length of the sword. No! Order! Order! Bravo, Maz Edgeworth. Raising this many contradictions from a single piece of evidence. All the other attorneys I know could maybe manage one. If that. But what does this all mean? We have proven contradictions regarding the murder weapon, but... If we come this far, there can only be one answer. And that is... The weapon used to kill the victim... ...was not the Shichishito. Yeah. That could actually be it. I mean, who says that this was the only weapon that was used on the body? Maybe this was used the second time, when in actuality the original murder weapon was something else. Maybe. That's... that's what I'm thinking of right now. What? Foolishly foolish idea born from the foolish mind of a foolhardy foolish fool. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, back to... No wait, that's actually six, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Although you didn't break any record with that, but still, that's pretty good six. You know, that's, that's still pretty good. Let's examine this again. What was it that made us think the sword was a murder weapon? Well... It's because Mystic Ami was holding it. Exactly. However, if you ever reflect on this, that is the only basis we have to assume such a thing. Because you... Sister Bikini, you surely haven't been that much of a reliable witness over here. We only have the photo, that's it, to to base ourselves on, but you... How can we be sure at this point that we can trust you? The impression left by the scene was just too strong. That is what influenced us. It influenced us to believe that the Shichishito was the murder weapon. Order, order, order! Can you stop it already? So maybe the Shichishito is not the murder weapon. Even if that is the case, it changes nothing, Maz Edgeworf. The sister here saw everything. She saw the defendant stab the victim with a sword. With a sword-like object. Hmm. That's true. Your response, Mr. Edgeworth? If that is so... I would like the prosecution to answer the obvious question it raises. The obvious question? Yes. Namely, where did the real murder weapon disappear to? Ah. So maybe, maybe it was true what I said before. Maybe the actual weapon was the staff. Man, I was joking about that. It goes without saying that the police searched the main hall and the surrounding area. Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us to as to what if... Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us to... Us to a f the <laughs> Perhaps the prosecution can enlighten us as to if a sword like object was found. Oh my god, that is a hard sentence to read. That's Answer the question, Miss Von Carl. No evidence of that kind was found. Hmm. Another mystery to throw onto the palm. Yeah. I mean, let's let's not forget that we haven't really investigated the inner temple at all because we don't really have access to it as of now. We surely will at some point, but maybe the murder weapon was there. 
A child without a murder weapon is a tricky beast. Excuse me, could I say something? I just remembered something, actually. What is it, sister? I was just thinking. It's possible that just maybe what actually happened was... It was just over there. Or over there. What exactly are you going on about here? The weapon, the murder weapon, I mean. Maybe... I think I might know where the sword was disposed of. You what?! Well then. I think we need to hear testimony from you one more time, sister. Impossible! Another cross-examination! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! What else? What else could this old woman have seen? Uh, alrighty then. Location of the weapon. I saw the murder at around 11 p.m. And after asking Daddy Baby to report it, I went out to the main gate. And there, I saw tracks. That tracks that indicated the snowmobile had been used. Snowmobile? It takes 15 minutes to walk to Dusky Bridge, but less than 5 using one of those. Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River and came back while I was knocked out? Iris could have done that. She can drive a snowmobile after all. Hmm... Witness, please, tell us everything you know right away next time. Well, I'm not in the best of shape. What will my back and my age, you know? Quiet. There are indeed snowmobile tracks in front of the main gate. Here is a photograph. Oh boy. A snow oil, ugh. I see. Well, that certainly is an interesting theory. Hmm? Okay. How interesting. And this is the main gate, right? The tracks begin in front of Hazakura Temple. And run all the way to Dusky Bridge. Through Taken Dead Night, from Main Gate to Dusky Bridge. That solves your pesky little problem, yes? Eh, I don't know about that one. Let me just see about something over here. Something that is of interest to me. Eh, you know, I am, I am definitely seeing something weird right over here. When it comes to this snowmobile. More specifically, something that is leaving behind. The Eagle River's current is quite swift, meaning that it doesn't freeze over in winter, making it a perfect place to dispose of the murder weapon. Did she really go to the river to dispose of the murder weapon? Mr. Edward, your cross examination, please. Hmm. Alright. Mm. Actually, you know what? Let me let me see about something over here. Let me just read some of the stuff that she said over here. After asking that it be reported, I went to the main gate, and there you saw tracks. Tracks that indicated that Stumbaba had been used. 15 minutes to walk to the Disco Bridge, but less than 5 using one of those. Maybe they threw the weapon into Eagle River and came back while you were knocked out. Using the snowmobile, you say? Nah, you know what? I think I'm just gonna do this. I am gonna speed through this a little bit more. I am gonna use my speed magic spell. Vroom, 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 vroom. Like right over here. And then we're gonna question the probability of use of Iris using the snowmobile to go to Eagle River and then back. Because from what we've seen over here, not only does it feel like I, I, there's not even two tracks over here, there's only one. Like one that goes from the main gate to Dusky Bridge slash... Yeah, the Dusky Bridge. But no, it's just one track. 
Not only that, but it only indicates that it's like the tracks are from Dusky Bridge to Main Gate. Because if it were from Main Gate to Dusky Bridge, then the snowmobile would have been placed the opposite way around. Like with the face uh, to the right, not to the left. This indicates that it went from Dusky Bridge all the way to over here to the main gate, doing that little curve over there. So, yeah, there's there's quite the contradiction over here. So, what do you have to say about this? I admit this photograph proves something. It proves that the snowmobile was used on the night of the murder. You finally accepted the inevitable, it seems, Miles Edgeworth. However, if what the witness says is true, then why is there only one set of tracks? What do you mean? Iris left Tazakura at Temple, threw the weapon into the river, and then returned. If this was the case, then naturally there should be two set of tracks in the snow. Those from heading out to the bridge, and those from coming back. Ah, you're right. Hmm. You're forgetting one thing, Miles Edgeworth. On the night of the murder, it was snowing. The tracks leading to the bridge were erased by the snowfall. The tracks leading to the bridge were erased by the snowfall, you say? Yeah, I'm not buying it because when was this photo taken? If one track was erased by the snowfall, then naturally it should be that the other track would have been raised by the snowfall as well. This removes your precious contradiction, now doesn't it? Eh, it sure, it sure doesn't. Like, it didn't magically disappear just cause the just cause the murderer wanted so. It is because of the snowfall. And naturally you should have covered both tracks. I see. While she was at the river, the snow stopped. Leaving just the return tracks in the snow. What do you have to say now, Miles Edgeworth? Is there a flow in her tiff? Is there a flow in her fury? This idea that the snowball covered one set of tracks. Nah. You know what? I'm gonna say that there's a contradiction over here. The tracks to the river were covered by snow. What a nice fury. However, Miss Wakama, that is impossible. Do you care to explain? Why is there is a rude index finger currently pointed in my general direction? No need. The evidence will do all the talking for me. The evidence? On the night of the murder, the killer went to and returned from Dusky Bridge. In order to dispose of the murder weapon, the outgoing tracks were erased by snow. Or so claims Ms. Volkarma. Ms. Edgeworth, present your evidence to the contrary. Yeah. Evidence that the outgoing tracks were not covered by snow. Hmm. Let me just think about this. Prove to the proof to the contrary that tracks weren't. I did. I mean, obviously it would be the tracks themselves, but we already provided that. I mean, we could say that here. The tracks were still there when uh, the photo was taken, so there's that. But something tells me that there's more to it than that, doesn't it? Hmm. Like, where, where was, um... Uh... Where was, um... The weather data. There you go. Uh, here it says there's uh, snow with occasional lightning strikes. Snow... At 7 to approximately 10.50 p.m. Mm -hmm. Nah, actually, I think I may be wrong with the photo. I think. The only way that, the, the, that those tracks were still there, even when the photo was taken, it was if uh, the snow didn't happen from from the time of the murder until the moment it was the photo was taken so that would that wouldn't really help me that much to begin with however we do know that 
snow happened from 7 to 10.50 p.m. And if the murder weapon was disposed of at the, mur at the time of the murder, then it would be after 11 p.m. So, yeah, in which case, the snow did not uh, cover the tracks whatsoever, because it only happened at before 11 p.m. So, yeah, I think that this should suffice. Witness, please tell us again what time it was when you witnessed a crime. Like I said, it was, it was around 11. Of course. This means that the weapon was thrown away after that time, correct? On that note, please take a look at this data. It is the weather report of Eagle Mountain on the night of the murder. 